right. Uh, we have today a little discussion, or not a discussion, I guess. Uh, just want to say a couple of things. Um, I know that many are used to me uh, being a teacher, preacher, what have you, from the past, and what I have discovered is, is that many people have become so reliant upon someone standing before them, teaching them doing the research, doing the verifying and validating for them. And people love to come and sit or to listen for their information and knowledge that they receive with little to no effort of making themselves get out of their comfort zone and do the research, do the verifying, validating. Even when someone is sharing knowledge and dropping breadcrumbs, so to speak, leading you down the uh, path that you need to go on to do and conduct your research that is not enough I get people coming on here wanting me to tell them everything because they're so used to teachers, preachers what have you giving them doctrine giving them what you're supposed to know, how you're supposed to know it, how you're supposed to do it, when you're supposed to do it, and all of these things, if he or she is doing all of that, you, you don't have to do much of anything, except for follow the direction of studying from the literature that is presented or given to you to keep you in the flow of whatever religious order that you are a part of. It's, it takes much more than that today. With the wealth of knowledge, information that's available to us, yes, do you have to decipher uh, between the information out there absolutely because his story is still out there but it's it's a good thing because you get a chance to separate as they say the wheat from the tear you get an opportunity to see what lies are being told and then you get to uncover facts I like to use the word facts rather than truth because everybody has a truth and somebody and everybody's teaching the truth. But facts are in existence. And if you go by the facts, the facts just don't line up with any religious order that's in existence. Spirituality is something totally different. And I'm not talking about the so-called spirituality that's attached to the religious sector. I'm talking about people connecting back to their creator. People understanding creation and understanding the relationship between all of it and therefore 
they began to develop and get a better understanding of who they are and how this world really works. Unfortunately for so many, we and they and many have been a part of religious activity for so long and the older you get it seems to be so hard to let go of what you have known for so many years and if even if you're young and if you were brought up indoctrinated in a religion if you are true to what you believe it is equally hard except for the fact that young people have a way of being able to adjust quicker all they need is that spark that thing that makes them become curious and that curiosity blossoms into research blossoms into study blossoms into verifying and validating and so for many of us that are 50 and older you know our our clock is ticking and we if we're not careful we're going to spend the rest of our lives running around in circles in the ideology of man religiosity no matter which one you are a part of or which one that you have been a part of that is man made it is not something that came from the creator and so I just wanted to say to those who <laughs> come on my comments you want this and you want that I understand but you're going to have to get it like I got it and that is go and do your research take the breadcrumbs utilize them verify validate and research and see what answer you come up with because see what people like to do is sit back and say that's what he said that's what she said that's what he always said why they don't want to go out and get something on their own and end up being wrong but they rather sit back and take information from someone in case it's wrong you can point the finger at the other person no, let's take responsibility and liability for our own lives, for our own destiny, for our own uh, ability to live life according to how we now have concluded how life goes and how it should go and what journey of spirituality you will travel down. It's time to own up and stop sitting in the pews and stop sitting on the other side of the screen wanting to be spoon fed. It's just like a child. At some point, a child grows up and when they become grown or an adult, it's time for them to go on their own. And for those of you who are so pacified by the teaching process of others, time to remove the pacifier. It's time for you to start feeding yourself, selecting and finding the, the, the things that are uh, facts that will actually give you good spiritual nutrition. So... For those who continue to want to come on and make those comments, you can make them. I will not be answering them because you need to take the pacifier out and 
do your own research. If I drop some breadcrumbs, take the breadcrumbs and see where it lead. And then you will know, you will know on your own and you will be able to determine what is faction, what is facts and what is fiction. This is the process that you must go in, I must go in, and everybody who's going to break out of the box of religion must go in. We come in this world by, our, by ourselves. We leave this world by ourselves. It's amazing that we don't have to do an individual journey through life back to the creator. Hmm? I wonder why that is. Because we've been conditioned to think that we have to do things a certain way as a group, a congregation, or as an assembly of people. And we're all supposed to do the same thing the same way all the time. I think if you do a little research, I think if you do a little verifying, validating of facts that are actually out there that's decipher between the fiction and the stuff that's not right meaning get evidence you will find out no this is more individual than it is a collection or a collective all right i hope that i've said something uh to spark a fire under someone and for those who just don't get it maybe this is not the channel for you maybe you need to go find a channel where they will teach you and give you everything you want on the spoon and spoon feed you it will not be happening here all right till next time